chips are a riffle and cards are a whistle and this is poker. You'll see the best poker action with us in the PartyPoker.net European Open. All the moves, the raises, and the bluffs. As one player from each heat heads into the semifinal on their way to a top prize of $125,000. Hi, I'm Jesse May and I'm joined tonight by actor Michael Greco to guide you through tonight's game and fill you in on the ins and outs of Hold'em. Now Michael, you have gone quickly from poker fan to poker pro. What do you love about this uh, game? I love this game, I love the adrenaline of this game. Uh, being an actor, by trade, as Shakespeare said, the whole world is a stage and you need to bring a bit of acting to this table. And um, I just, yeah, I just love the fierceness, competitiveness of this, this game and, uh, and, the, and the adrenaline buzz that you get from, from bluffing someone out of a pot. Well, you need no review, but let's review for you at home just the ins and outs of the rules of Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em begins with each player being dealt two cards face down from the dealer. These are personal cards that only the player gets to see. Players then decide whether to bet based on the value of those two cards alone. There's four possible betting rounds, during which the community cards are dealt onto the table face up. First up are the three cards that make up the flop. After the next round of betting, you see the turn. And finally, the last of these community cards is dealt the river. Players must make the best five card poker hand out of seven available cards to take the pot. It's no limit, so a player can bet all of his chips to win a hand. So Michael, now we know how to play. The next thing to learn about is the blinds. The blinds, okay. Basically, these are compulsory bets that the uh, players have to put in the middle before any action has started. So, pre-getting uh, your cards, the first player to the left of the dealer button puts in a small blind and the left to the left of him puts in the big blind, which is normally double the amount of the small blind. Now, I mean, some people will have heard about antes, but blinds are sort of like antes that, that only some of the players have to put up. That's right. I mean, it, it's only the two players to the left of the dealer button, and the dealer button goes clock, clockwise around the table. So eventually, the blinds will get start getting higher and higher and higher after, say, half an hour or, or an hour's uh, uh, level. And so then, there's a lot more in the middle for you to fight over. So let's imagine that we're going to be dealing the cards for this first round. And the blinds are here in seats one and two. Mm -hmm. Where does the action begin? The now? action begins to the left of the big blind. So, I mean, another way to think about the blinds is actually as a bet and a raise that have happened before the, the players have seen their cards. Because this player, he'll have to call four chips or fold. Exactly, because if there wasn't anything in the middle to fight over, you'd have a very boring game because everyone would just wait for a big hand. So there has to be something in the middle for us to fight over. Well, I do that anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blinding explanation, Michael. Okay, our second heat starts soon. Let's go over to the table, see who's playing and who's sitting where. Well, that's a tasty lineup. We're here with one of the players who will be in tonight, Tony Bloom. Now, Tony, you have been very successful in this particular format, six-seater televised table. Why is that? What is the strategy? It's pretty different to normal style of poker, Jesse. There's a, a balance between being passive perhaps early on when the blinds are small, weighing up your opponents, and being aggressive and hitting in the right circumstances. Obviously, you need decent cards, you need sort of decent cards to stand up. But there is a certain right strategy and it really depends on the other players as well, as well as your cards and, and, and how far you are in the tournament. And I've got a good feel about when to play passive, when to be aggressive and when to really shoot for it. The lights are dimmed. The table is set. Join us in a minute as the action gets underway here from the PartyPoker.net European Open. Welcome back. Everything's ready. Michael Greco and myself will be guiding you through the action. Let's join the table. Ready? 
no party with that. I see you following the action here. Cards coming out. Uh, on, each player, of course, begins with 100,000 in tournament chips, so the blinds being 1 and 2,000. Uh, doesn't put too much money on the table for the start. Hi. And as we talked about before, Michael, it's, it's really the blinds that determine uh, the action. Yeah, at the moment, because the blinds are so small, there's not that much to steal, but uh, yeah. that's, that's what you're fighting for, that bit of uh, cash in the middle. Two yellow chips from Michael Pownall means a call matching the bet, and this has given Brett the opportunity cool. to creep on in with mm. a big hand, really. We yeah. have a flock. I'm surprised there. I would have liked to have seen a raise on the small blind. Three-way here. Tony Bloom getting the free flop because of Brett's timidness, or is it? And they've all missed. They've all yeah. missed. You got an inside straight draw for Brett, but uh, he yeah. could have been in a lot more trouble. He should have really raised on the small, on the small blind. He wouldn't know where he was, you see, with that flop. And he's going to have trouble calling a bet, but uh, has, has Powell checked yet? He's very deliberate. Check, all check. He's very deliberate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just made check. the nut hand Broadway. Check. He checked check. it right away. Check. He doesn't. And this is interesting because this has opened up an up and down straight draw for Powell, and if he hits. Well, he's, he's actually drawing dead, isn't he? He's drawing dead. I think uh, if he does bet this, then Dunstan has just got to flat call him. There's no point in raising him. 6,000. Just a, a nice little flat call here from Dunstan. Take your time over it. A little bit of acting. He looks like an actor, doesn't he? He looks like a big Hollywood movie star. <laughs> he looks like he'd be very comfortable on a motorcycle. Yeah. Raise. 10,000 more. 16, uh, see, he's raised it up. That's the wrong move, I think. He, one, he's, he's going to... Oh. Throwing off Tony Bloom, and he's probably going to fry enough Pownall as well. Right, I mean, he'd love to give Pownall the chance to, to hit his hand. And uh, there, there's really nothing out there that, that, that a draw that can beat him, really, is there? No, I mean, if, if a seven did come down, then um, Pownall's going to think he's got the best hand. Um, he's going to think if a queen comes down, then all it takes is Dunstan to have an ace. So th th there's no point. He, he's, uh, he's put a bit of cash in to see where he is. The guy's raised him. He's got to think he's losing. He, he's got to fold it. Because he's got to figure out if the queen does come down, then he could be drawing dead because the guy could have a nice. Ah. Yeah, good fault. Well, that must be how Pownall reason, reason it. He did not want to pay the money for the draw. And with the nut straight, Brett Dunstan wins his first hand. Let's check out the ranking of hands. Each five-card poker hand falls into the official ranking of poker hands. Bottom of the ladder is high card only. A pair just above that, and two pair is higher still. Three of a kind is three of a number, a straight. Five cards in a row of any suit. A flush is five cards of the same suit in any order. Full house, three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind is self-explanatory. And a straight flush is five cards all in a row of the same suit. Royal flush is top of the pops. That's a straight flush, ace high. Most uh, British poker players who have been on the scene for a while would we really consider Mickey sort of a legend. Uh, I think back in the old days, the Barracuda Club, the Jackpot Club, uh, you know, but really before the advent of, uh, of poker in the big time, Mickey Pass. was grinding it out and uh, thriving, really, with uh, guys like Ben Roberts, David Mosley, some of the Derek uh, Webb. Raise to 5,000 total. Here we go, Tony Bloom's starting now. He's starting to raise <laughs> with garbage hands. <laughs> It only took him six hands. It only didn't took it? him six hands, so uh, cool. Cool. I'd like to see cool. how Achilles reacts to this. All right, he's passed. Well, Eddie London has yeah. just called uh, with the Queen King of Hearts on the button, and I mean, uh, he, he may not know where he's at here, uh, Michael. Uh, you know, Queen King is the kind of hand that can be far ahead or far behind. In this case, he's way in front. Yeah, those middle to high cards, if they come on the flop, could be very interesting. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely flop here for London. He's got top pair with the second nut flush draw. So it's, it's almost like if you could dream of the flop you want, that would be it. That would be it. And also Tony's betting into him. Just a good flat call here would, would be the uh, just what the doctor ordered, I think. Gosh, Tony's in terrible trouble. He's <laughs> look at those percentages. He's got three percent chance to win. Wow. This is uh, this is not pretty. This is nice play by London. He hasn't raised him. He's just flat caught him. He knows he's winning at the moment. Wow, that's even better. 
even better. It is, although interestingly enough, it's actually given Tony some outs. There's three tens in the yeah. deck. That would give him a straight, but uh, you say this pot is over as well? Well, I think if, if London bets here, then I think Tony Bloom will fold. Depending on how big the bet is, it, Tony might think he might be priced in here. 10,000. I think that's enough to scare Tony off. Top two pair, king high flush draw. Take a picture of this hand, Ma. I'm going to win the pot. Tony knows. There's only four cards in the in the pack that can win them win this hand for him. So, um, And maybe he thinks there could be only three, because maybe he thinks that London's on a flush draw. Tony, of course, just back from Las Vegas, where he was very successful in uh, they call the Tournament of Champions there. Uh, do, you, do you think he's guilty of showing a little bit of early impatience here? Quite possibly. He's an aggressive player, and he does. I've, I've seen him play before. He does. He does raise with uh, those semi hands or those trash hands. So uh, that, that's his way of playing. He's one of those players that either wins the tournament or goes out quite early. Uh, Eddie London not going to show the hand, but that smile says it all. Big hand, nice pot, settle the nerves, and uh, <coughs> he might be a bit of a player. This Scott. Yeah, he played it very, very well. That will make Eddie London the uh, early chip leader. But uh, there hasn't been all that much movement. So Tony Bloom, bottom of the board. So the early days, early doors play has really given us no indication of what's to come here, except uh, that uh, I think even with the inexperienced players, Michael, we've got some uh, we've got some some poker play here. I mean, both Brett Dunson and Eddie London seem quite comfortable at the table. Pass. Raise to 5,000 total. Two tens, and the raise is to 5,000. That's two plus three. And oh, there could be some action here. We raise 5,000 more, 10 total. Certainly is. This is the first big matchup we've had between Achilles and Tony, and it's a minimum re-raise just about. Only a re-raise of 5,000. Achilles is looking for action here, and Tony could hang himself. Pass. Could Pass. you see Tony re-raising all in? Call. This, there could be fireworks here. Now, Tony has chosen to just call, and uh, unless a 10 comes on this flop, it's hard to see how Bloom is going to get away from this. We want to see some big cards now. Wow. There. What a flop for Achilles. It's actually kind of a fortunate for Tony Bloom. It's uh, very fortunate. It, it, it may help him to get away from this hand. I think he will. Three kings is the nuts for Achilles. Kay. Five thousand. <laughs> well, <quite> a, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's done all but hook a cow up to a machine. I mean, what a milking bet this is. It's a hell of a milking bet. He'll, he'll call this. He'll call this, Tony. He's getting odds. He, he looks like he's going to even raise him. It does look like he's going to raise him. Has Achilles set a great trap here? Like I said, there's been history between these two guys before, and. Uh, uh, there's going to be fireworks. Four reds would have been oh. 20,000. Tony Bloom just calling for the five. If a 10 comes, it'll be some wild stuff. This pot, 33,000. Bloom's best bet is a, a running flush draw. Wow. That's got to be a little bit of a scare card for uh, Achilles. For both of them, to be honest. Tony, it's gotta, Tony's got to think he's losing at the moment. There's three oh. over cards here. Tony Bloom, four jacks are his winners. 15,000. And Achilles just trying to reel Tony in like a fish. I think that'll be enough to uh, scare him off. These cards can't keep helping you, can they? <laughs> you can't what? Keep getting better for you. With every new card. <laughs> Let the banter begin. I'll tell you what. <laughs> It's like cloak and dagger stuff. Achilles yeah. crafty. Tony trying to draw him out. But uh, in the end, uh, those three overcards is, is what really told the story, wasn't it? Yeah, he got away from that quite lightly. It, it could, if, if there were three, if there were three cards under 10 on that flop, I think you would have seen a lot of chips go in the middle. I think he got away from that lightly, Tony Bloom. Let's just say he got very lucky. I'm Tony Bloom, nicknamed the Lizard. I've got a little mascot, my uh, lucky gold lizard. I think tonight you can expect perhaps the unexpected. 
I'm really not sure what's going to happen, but I'm pretty confident that something good will happen tonight. I hope so. Things aren't really going Tony Bloom's way at the moment, are they? Well, ha I mean, uh, is, it, is, it, is it way too early to even think about panicking? No. Tony, uh, I mean, obviously, Tony, huh. you know, knows the strategy of these one tables well, and you don't want to lose too many chips huh. during that first level, do you? No, exactly. Huh. But still, we haven't seen uh, any hole cards, have we? No one's actually shown their hand. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Well, you've been on, huh. on tables and... Oh, wow, oh, and here's Mickey Wernick now. We're, really, we're getting some huge hands. Tables. We've only had about seven or eight uh, uh, deals, and uh, we've already had pocket kings, aces, and jacks, and tens. Brett Dunson will be well excused cool. for peeling off that flop. This can only be trouble for the Canadian. Warnick with the pocket aces. Warnick knows that if a few high cards come on the flop, he's got to uh, make some kind of move. Yeah. <laughs> this could be trouble it's, for the Canadian. It's cold deck city. I mean, it's cold in Alberta, but... Uh, Dunson is going to need a lot of experience to get away from this. He could even raise it to see where he's at. Yep, he's reaching for his red chips. Raise 10,000 more, 14 total. Got to see a re-raise here from Mick. That's a quick, deep reach from the reds. Is a re-raise here the right move? I think so, yeah. He's got a re-raise him now. There are two clubs on the flop as well. There could be a flush draw there for... Uh, for Dunstan, but, on. yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, that's a bit excessive, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's frying him off. Uh, Mick wanted to win, he wanted to win the pot there and then, and, and that was, that was the move. Mick gave Ernick sent a cannonball out there <laughs> to do a pea shooter's job, but it was enough. Yeah. And, uh, it was more than enough. <laughs> there's, 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 there's some big cards in this deck. Yeah, there are some big cards in this deck. This, um, and yet there's been relatively uh, uh, small damage. Pass. The town is starting to bear the brunt of this. Uh, he won the first <coughs> two spots, but since then it's been, uh, it's been very slow for him. And now with the seven high. It's just almost like he's come here with a game plan today oh. where he's told himself he's going to take time with every decision. Raised exactly. 7,000 total. And here we go. Mick's going to up the pressure now. He's raised with garbage. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Tony, oh. oh. Tony Bloom's got way the best of this. Mickey Wernick has, oh. has a queen in a rag, basically. He's going to the ball without being dressed up. And Tony Bloom come with the clothes on. The only good thing, he's got position on Tony here, which is uh, always very important after the flop. But uh, Tony clearly respects Mickey. He's only called with this ace-jack. Of course. And uh, interestingly, a couple face cards out there, but ace-high is still leading. Check. 15,000. That's a strong bet. It's a very, very strong bet. I think it could be enough to win the pot. Yep, Pass. good bet, Mick. Wow. Good bet, Mick. <laughs> I mean, Tony Bloom has just gotten back from Las Vegas where he was playing <laughs> with Phil Helmuth, Mike Matisau. But here, Mickey Wernick is teaching him the business. Yeah, that's a great play by Mick there. <laughs> great play. I mean, was Mickey thinking something like, you know, if you can't re-raise before the flop, then you can't call a bet on the flop. Uh, exactly. I, if Tony had re-raised him there, Mick would have obviously folded. But um, he's obviously respect Mick's ways enough, so he's just flat-called him. <laughs> And uh, he's folded the best hand. <laughs> well, Tony Bloom has found this going tough. This, you know, when I mean, you wonder if Tony's got a, a, a like a bullseye on his head that says uh, that says "pick on me" because uh, he's been giving him terrible trouble so far. I think everyone's probably aware of his uh, of his success. And Tony Bloom's confidence must be absolutely flying at the moment. Probably thinks he can't Pass. do any wrong, but uh, the, the horse is just not running for him at the moment. Raise. Raise. Dunstan with the ducks. Seven. 7,000 total. Call. Quick call from Tony Pass. on the button. 
Yeah, I like that. Nice flat call. It's, it's a good hand, A6 suited. Especially when there's only six players. And he's on the button as well, so he's got a good position. Eight thousand. Tony can beat a big ace at this stage. Right well, now, he'd be, he'd be hoping that uh, Dunstan has an ace king, wouldn't he? He would. I think he should just flat call her. This is the first monster that Tony oh. Bloom has flopped. Yeah. And as you say, he's slow playing this one to perfection. Although yeah. if a duck comes, well, there could be fireworks if a duck comes. I think now is the time. If if yeah. the Tony should bet here, because if he has got an ace, Dunstan, then he, you know he could. He could hit his second pair quite easily. I mean, Bloom's in a situation where he, he really has to win this pot, doesn't he? I mean, uh, he's got there's more chips in the pot, I think, than... Yeah, there's quite a lot of chips in the pot, so I would put a, a bet in here and, and try and win the pot here and now. <laughs> Tony's looking at his chips, he's looking like, at his chips. like a foreign language. It's like he's had porridge for dinner and is looking at peas. Well, he's thinking, you know, he the, the guy has bet the flop and he's now checked it when a ten's come down, so he doesn't really know where he stands. So a big bet here should take it. <laughs> is he trying to? Is he trying to look like he's bluffing? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty thousand. <laughs> should get an Academy Award. <laughs> yeah, it should. That's why I said earlier, you know, Shakespeare said the whole world is a stage, and uh, it's no different in the poker room. We all want to be actors. <laughs> so the lizard lurks in there, flops the top two, and uh, he's still in sixth position, but the difference between 78,000 and uh, about 58 is, is, is pretty significant. Yeah, it just takes the pressure off you a bit more now. You're only 22,000 down from the way you started, but Tony's such an experienced player, he knows he can easily come back. If there was ever a lineup for not seeing hole cards, this is it. A bunch of added merchants, and no one wants to call an all-in bet. Raised to 7, I, I cannot believe this guy has had so many amazing hands. He has, and uh, Bloom, another quick call behind him. He, he must suspect. Call. Wow. Something's Pass. going on. Look at this. Well, we're going to see cards this time. This time. <laughs> There's too many people yeah, in. Exactly. You know, Dunstan's virtually raised every before every flop. So you've got to think, okay, is this guy at it here? You know, is he raising with rubbish? But he's actually had cards. <coughs> and it's uh, it's five thousand on Michael Townell with a queen nine. Uh, does he have does he have odds here? Pot odds to call, or should he just be a little more conservative? Uh, I think he should call here. He's definitely got pot odds here, without a shadow of a doubt. If he does call, Dunson's got to be a little bit fearful because if he's got three callers to his pocket kings, he's not so much a favourite. With kings, you want maximum two people and maybe just one. But three against you, you, you know, you're not in great shape. 10%. It was a 5,000 decision. Panel acting like it was a final Jeopardy question. Yeah, but, I uh, would have called that for pods. Queen nine is nice, not so bad. We're three way here. 24,000 in the pot. This is a little something for everybody. Yeah. I think Bloom could get himself in trouble here. That's a that's a big bet. That's a big bet. And you know what? Bloom could think that Dunstan has got ace king or ace queen or ace jack and he's missed his flop. It, Bloom would do very well to get away from this. I very mean, well. I mean I mean with that bet of twenty thousand, Michael, isn't Brett really really putting the stakes for Tony where if he comes in for a penny he's gotta go the whole way? Exactly. I would think that Brett has lost here and he's 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 made a weak bet by by, by putting in a lot of money. Yeah, here we go. We've got an all-in. All that's exactly what Tony's done. He's put him on something that Brett has completely missed the flop, and he wants to win the pot there and then, and Tony's gone, you know what? I think I'm winning. Let's check it out. And as we know, he's in dire straits here. Oh, no, but, but, I mean, is, is, is Brett going to call here? He's got to. He's got to call. No. He's got to call. He has no other choice. He has! And Tony Bloom's in trouble! Bloom's got outs, but he's behind! Yeah, he's got to hit a 10, a jack, or an 8 to make a straight. He, he, he's, he's way behind. He's still got cards to hit, but it's... Um, Tony's got to think, I'm, I'm behind here now. Brett Dunstan has made a big call. It was a quick call, and he's happy about things right now. This pot, 166,000, blew them all in, and the lizard could be leaving. Well, do you know what? When you're in form, though, Jesse, these, you, you, you do hit your second pair. Um, Dunstan's obviously praying that 
an eight or a ten or jack doesn't come down. That's a great card. That now gives Dunson the second nut flush draw. So that Sounds reduces good. Tony's outs. Significantly. We could be seeing our first casualty here. I did say Tony either gets to the final two and wins. Oh, oh he's hit the two pair, but it's a flush. He hit his two pair, but it was a flush for Dunstan. Tony Blue, first up, best dressed, first out. That last hand, money went in on the flop, and uh, the size of the pot made the bets big. Uh, Tony Bloom needed two pair, but when he hit it, Brett Dunson hit the flush. Flush beats two pair, and we're down to five. Is it getting that early double up and that early lead, uh, is, is that worth worth fighting for? Is it worth risking going out first for? Well, there's no, no shame in going out first. There's only one prize. You need to win it. So in the right situation, if you've got to go all in, like half out there, that, that's fine. That's how it is. Leaping lizards. Tony Bloom has left us lollygagging and is out of this tournament. It was the Canadian that took him down, and a hot favorite leaves a new stage to be sung. Still cards in the air from the PartyPoker.com European Open. Another pocket pair, wow. Well, as long as the cards don't run out. No. We're, oh. Brad is going to be in a fine mix. Oh. Although, uh, obviously, oh. certainly we'll get the opportunity to see how he does with no hand and uh, maybe up for the challenge. <coughs> Playing poker eight years. Achilles flat calling on the button with the A7. Is, is that impatience, Michael? No, I think that's I think that's fine. It's just a flat call on the button. He's got good position, obviously. Um, be thrilled to know that uh, he's got two over cards, does Achilles. He's very live. Exactly. Although, if we see a six and a seven on the flop, then there could be fireworks. Michael Pennell's taking a bit of time to to call this. I mean, it's only another couple of thousand, isn't it? He's, he's, he's got a call because he's, get, he's getting the odds. I'm not right for Oh, wait. Wow. You know, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I had thought that Brett Dunson had raised before the flop, but he just flat called, no, he, didn't yeah. he? He just flat called. That's a very cheap system. flop. Very cheap. Four. He's look, yeah. He's looking to catch a six. If he catches a six, then that's where the action will then go on. Four ways. Four each makes 16. And uh, as it is, Achilles has hit his seven. I think if this gets checked round to Achilles, I think he'll make a bet. He's in great position here. This is when position is all important. You're on the button. If people check this round to you, then it's a sign of weakness, check. possibly. Check. 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 Oh, he's checked it. Check. Four checks. Turn card coming for free. And uh, the king changes nothing from our point of view. No, that's a scare card for everybody. Oh, I think now if I was Achilles, I would bet this if everyone checks. Oh, that's a good bet. Oh. Very good bet by Brett, isn't it? It is. You see, because everybody's checked oh. the flop, then that's normally a, a good sign that no one's hit it. Um, <laughs> what has Mickey Wernick picked up? <laughs> He's just stuck in a whole load of red chips. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Rub well, your eyes. Not good, eh? My theory goes right out the window. It's a, it's a great bet. It's a great bet. Oh. And Brett Dunstan said King's no good, implying that he had a king and believed Mickey was very strong. As it is, Mickey Warnick was on a 10 high. What What did he smell there? I don't know. It was a... <laughs> you talk about golden spectacles. Those red lenses of Mickey Warnick clearly looking through. The felt. Well done, Mickey. Well done, Mickey. You see these <laughs> these check raises that people put in, whether you've got a hand or not, they're very effective. <coughs> it was a, it was a bit of a weak bet from uh, from Dunstan and Mickey's just since that. I think. Yeah, we've been waiting 20 years to see Mickey Wernick um, playing poker on TV, and he is not disappointed so far. Wait till he gets the cards, <laughs> then you'll. Uh, oh. 
limp in from Kalakis with the Jack-9. And, uh, I mean, Achilles still has 94,000, uh, Michael. He's lost a few pots, but uh, chip-wise, he's as healthy as can be. Yeah, you've got to think, well, the blinds are only 2-4. There's a hell of a long time for me to get start getting worried about my uh, being blinded away, so there's no panic. He's experienced enough to know that. Townall with a button decision. Call, raise, or fold. Um, probably a fold. I, tell you, I don't think the clock has ever been put on someone before the flop for a call. But oh, well, here's a, a different gear. He's stepping up a gear. He's raising on the button with Queen 7. Well, this is lovely. This is when, if you were one of the players, you're thinking, well, this guy hasn't played a hand yet, really, apart from the first two. And now he's raising on the button with uh, Trash. So you're thinking, OK, you could actually have a hand here. And now, all of a sudden, Michael Townell's strategy of taking his time comes to the fore. I mean, from these other players' point of view, like you say, Michael, they, they have no way to get a read on him. I mean, look, Mickey Warnick looks like he's thinking of folding the ace jack. How much more? But he's not. No, I mean, <laughs> if it was someone else, he might re-raise with his ace jack. But uh, because of this guy that's taken his time and all of a sudden has made a raise, he's thinking, wow, I could be... Uh, could be up against a big hand here. Now it's 10,000 more on Kalakis, who won't like the look of his Jack-9 right now. No. I think he's tossed it away. We're head up here. Oh. A big flop for Mickey Warnick. Achilles could have been a whole heap of trouble if he had a flat cord. Right. What will Town will do? He's waited about 20 hands, and now he's... Been He's in there on pot with nothing. He has got has a chance to hang himself here, Michael. Yeah, he, he's got to get, try and get free card here. He's got to check it. It was a good thought before the flop. He picked up weakness from Achilles, but mm. uh, what is he up against now? Normally, if you're, if you're the raiser before the flop and you become the aggressor, then whatever the flop comes down, if you miss or not, it's, it's good to put a bet in. But uh, I think if he puts a bet in here, he's going to be in a whole heap of trouble. But obviously, he doesn't know mixed cards when we do, so... They've got that added advantage. Yeah, I mean, there is 36,000 in there. Isn't he obligated to bet something? Try it. He's actually drawing live to a queen right now. But if he checks here, Michael, he's basically giving up the pot, isn't he? He is. And the mix got to think he's winning. Did you see him going all in here? No, no. I mean, mix got to think, OK, there's only three hands, really, that could be beating me here. Queens, kings, or aces. He's checked. Pownall has checked. Yeah. Mick knows he's winning now. If a ace, if a queen or a king doesn't, yeah. If a, if a queen or king came down on the turn, Mick think he could be losing, but he's going to make a bet here now, Mick. Well, Powell looks like he's going to lose this pot, but uh, it's, been pretty, it's pretty impressive the way, the way he's gone about playing it, actually. Mm. I mean, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's just a bit of uh, amateur dramatics going on here. There's no way in a million years he'll call this. No way. He's got two moves here. He either re-raises or he folds. Panel used to making tough decisions and fast-paced ones. He's an online sports trader as a profession and poker player. So uh, he knows about uh, he, he, he knows about this sort of tournament, and he's made the right decision now. Yeah. You can't just flat call with nothing. You, that's, that's silly. You've got two moves. You have a re-raise and try and nick it, or you, you fold. It, it, it looks to me, I mean, what, what might have happened there, Michael? It seems like Michael Pannell started out playing a pot against Achilles, and then as soon as he found himself playing a pot against Mickey Warnick, he was not happy at all. No, Mickey's been the, the aggressive player here, and um, he's uh, he's got them right where he wants them at the moment. And Warnick, who if I'm not mistaken, has yet to show down a hand, is the first to reach 200,000 in chips. Has he, has he shown down a hand? I don't think he has. He hasn't shown <laughs> any of his cards yet. I think he's actually only hit one flop, and that was that one. He, he, he's raised with garbage, and uh, he hasn't hit, and he's uh, re-raised with garbage. He's, he's, he's won an absolute fortune without turning over his cards. Great plays. Great aggressive play. I mean, if that's not the object of poker, I don't know what is. Exactly. 
देखो Do we have to wait <laughs> for a call from this guy because it's happening every single time? This is very funny, isn't it? <laughs> 2000 on Brett Dunstan. And he gives up the small blind. Eddie London now. Ooh. Nice little face cards to get a free flop with. Squaring off against Achilles. Head up here. Clock is looking for the ace. And uh, the seven comes into play. Got straight draw for Kalakis. Mm -hmm. Has to be running through Eddie's mind. The last time I bet out with nothing, I got raised exactly. by Achilles. But he's nothing if not hard-headed. <laughs> yeah. Put in a little bet just to see where he stands. Now, how does Achilles play this? Does he re-raise again? Or does he think this time that London's actually got a hand? Cool. Cool. This time he's just called. Yeah. London's got to be a little bit wary now. He's just flat called me, okay. So maybe I'm losing. I've got to hit my jack or my king. This pot, 26,000 already. If London checks, I think Achilles uh, will see weakness. Oh, he's better out again. Boy, he is a stubborn one, isn't he? I suppose Achilles is going to think while he was in the big blind, he could have anything here. Yeah. 15,000. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good bet. It's a good bet by London. <laughs> nice persistence by Eddie London. Yeah. <laughs> he fired two bullets there and it paid off. Yeah. Eddie London from uh, St. Andrews, Scotland, an aircraft engineer. Is flying along with an empty tank. Well, Mickey Warnick is now the chip leader with 200,000 chips. He hasn't even shown a hand. Fantastic, aggressive play from Mickey here. Uh, Michael Powell now is down to 62,000, but the blinds are still low, so there's no need for them to panic. And we've still just got five. Kind of quite an interesting game. I mean, uh, especially... Uh, as you said, from our point of view, Michael, with so few hands turned over, it's uh, it's really one of those chess matches. Uh. I think Mickey, he's got to feel really comfortable because he's won a lot of hands with absolute rubbish. If he starts hitting cards, well, the world's his oyster. Two and four thousand, still second level here. Panel four to call, raise or fold. Oh. And uh, Mickey's slowed down a little bit. He's folded two in a row. <laughs> I think a little raise on the button here will go down nicely. Yeah, wow. I think that's what I'd do. Suited connectors. I, I did. Oh, well, he's got something. He won a big pot with the Queen King suited off Tony Bloom in just the first round of the tournament. <coughs> This is the first time that uh, Dunson stepped oh. out of line, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's the first time he hasn't really had a hand and he's raising with uh, small cards. If we see some clubs on the flop here, there could be action. Flop down. <laughs> what a great flop for the 5 7. You raise with nothing and ends up turning up a rose bush. Exactly. You see, when you raise with these small suit connectors, and if suited connect. Small cards come on the flop. People can't put you on that raise sometimes, you know. And so, um, I think a, a bet here needs to be. Uh, Fifteen thousand. Yeah, should take the pot here and now. He's got two choices here, like the previous one. He either folds or he re raises. It, there's no point flat calling with nothing. Unless he's home to make a backdoor oh. flush. He's got two over cards now. It's good fold. Pot for Brett Dunstan was finding everything going his way. Okay, Mickey Wernick is uh, our leader with 202,000 chips, and he's only hit one flop. Amazing play from Mickey. 
Play two stars, get some cards, and then you'll really see some fireworks. Michael Pownall's going to be a little bit cautious now. He's on 57,000 chips, and those blinds are starting to eat him. Yeah, those blinds, Michael, uh, three and 6,000 now. Uh, I mean, how serious situation is this for Pownall? I think he's got to start making a few moves sooner or later because each round is worth 9,000 to him. Uh, and so he's got to start making uh, two or three moves if he's not getting the cards. Well, this is the first powerhouse London has had before the flop. And uh, he's wasting no time Ready. getting involved. Looks like 18. More, that's uh, triple the bet. Achilles' hand is in the muck already, and that's a hand that Townall might have been willing to go all in with if, uh, if it had been folded around to him. Yeah, he's... Uh, mm, he could be in a little bit of trouble here. Do you think he can get away from it? I think the way he's played so far, I think he will get away from it. I think he'll fold. Yeah. Pass. No, no, that's right. It's because I'm starting. It was a quality fold. Uh, oh, uh, Mickey Wernick, what happened was he folded out of turn there, so uh, the panel hadn't acted yet. And all in! All in from Brett Dunstan! Wow. Wow. That was quick! That's one hell of a call. That's a, that's a massive all in. I think he'll get called here. I think Dunstan's got to call him. Is it, is it a rush of blood to the uh, head? Yeah, I think London's got to call him. I, I, I don't understand this. I, um... I mean, he's, 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 in a sense, he's right. Dunson has more chips than London. He, um, he is up against two overcards, but it's, it's a strange move anyway, is it? Well, London's got to think, okay, well, you haven't got aces or kings because an all-in bet would sound silly. So, yeah, he's got to call him. At worst, he's against queens or jacks. Is Dunson looking to gamble? I mean, uh, Dunson expected that's the best he could have hoped for. Yep. He's got to be happy with that. All right, he's losing at the moment, but he's not that far behind. So pair of eights ahead. Eddie London is all in, and if Dunstan can make these eights hold up, he said, I didn't want to see a flop. He did not want the call. I don't know why Dunstan just didn't flat call and see a flop. Well, there you go. There's the king. Well, this could be quick. Ride down for Dunstan. He was chip later. There's 207,000 in the pot, and now if his... Doesn't come eight on the Turner River. He's going to be cut in half. Yep, there's no spade for him either. That's another few outs gone. That's another... He's, the eight of diamonds is the only card he can... Oh, no, he's a got six. a six. Six for a straight. He can hit a six, but not six of spades, because that gives uh, London the flush. Well, it's, it's Eddie London who's all in, but right now he's in good sh... Oh! oh, he's hit his eight, but it's the wrong one. <laughs> double take! Uh, Dunstan did a double take as well. The set on the river, but it's made a flush for Eddie London. And, uh, I mean, Michael, is it, it, it just seemed like a, the pot got very big all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I think what... I don't know. I think I don't know what way is the best way to have played that. I mean, he, he's gone all in with his pair of eights. I think if he'd have just seen the flop, he could have got away from it. If he'd have just flat called the raise with the ace king, uh, with his pair of eights, seen the king on the flop, he could have got away from it. So, uh, big happenings on this one table. Oh. And uh, now, Achilles, who's done a lot of limping in today. Yeah, he's had mediocre hands, hasn't he? He hasn't had anything so strong. So he hasn't really done any raising at all, to be honest. You wonder if the ace nine now is a trapping hand, because Pownall seriously considering <laughs> with the ace six beside him. He's been seriously considering every hand, hasn't he? <laughs> yes, he <laughs> done quite a bit of serious consideration today. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Wernick, who uh, by all counts has changed gears, Michael. He's He's been quiet for the last uh, round or so. Well, he's, he's he's got his chips. He doesn't need to give them away, does he? That's where his uh, experience will come in. He's He's got his chips. He's like, you want them, you come and get them. But at the moment, I'm just going to sit back and, uh, and then see what happens. No worries. This pot's ending up three-way for the flop here. Achilles in the blinds, and uh, looking at the hands that are out right now, Achilles probably could have picked this pot up before the flop with could the have raise. Done because he's now losing now. Uh, if it had made a small raise, he would have yeah. taken it. Interesting to see how Brett Dunson plays this. He's got to bet. He's got. He's got to bet this. Check. Check. All checks. It's gone three checks. Achilles not getting out of line here, and. Uh, 
Let's change things slightly. A three now would make Eddie London a straight. And Dunstan's checked again. Yeah, I'm really surprised because if someone had a jack, they might have they might have put in a little bit. Now, um... 8,000. Pass. Interesting to see what Dunstan does with this. Now, Eddie London has beat him out of all his chips. And, uh... Wow. Pass. Well... Do you think uh, that little bit of that, that, that previous hand has knocked his confidence a bit, Jesse? <laughs> I think it's all he's thinking about. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's not, he's not, not the racism, though, is he? But uh, Eddie London, I mean, that's just a, an example of how uh, chips breed confidence. Eddie London took that pot with the worst hand out of the three. Yeah. Uh, that just shows you how the chip leader can, can afford to dust off chips. Exactly. And, and Brett Dunson hasn't given up yet anyway. No, I think if Brett Dunson had won that, that pot before, or if, if he hadn't been so wounded, he would have made a bet with his uh, two pair there and taken the pot there and then. But uh, he's just not there, is he? His whole demeanor has gone down. His, his, his shoulders have sagged down a bit, and uh, he's not as confident as he was. It's, it's, it's a hard game, this poker. It can, it can change on it. The, 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 Thinness of a dime, can exactly. it? Ahead of a pin. And Pownall. Well, I mean, he's got to make a raise here. He has to. He has to make a stand at some point. Yeah, we've basically got three players now who have uh, just about half average. They've got around 60,000 or less. And, uh,. Capel will go all in, but is it no. too many chips a little bit to go too all in? Too many chips. So he's got to make a, maybe like a three times a big blind, ra blind raise here. Raise. Raise. 18 total. Yeah, there 18, you go. That's 000 exactly 000. what he's Pass. done. And around Pass. now to London in the small blind. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Poor Michael Powell. He The first time he makes a, a decent enough raise, he runs into aces. Well, how do you play this? Do you try and get all the chips in the middle, or do you just flat call and trap him? You know, I mean, Eddie London played the first two levels of this thing uh, almost like a ghost. We didn't hear him at all. And all of a sudden, right. ace, Zero. king, and two aces. Is he, is he going to get a call here? 20,000 more, 38 total. It's difficult to know. It's difficult to know whether he's going to... 20 to call. Pa Pownall has a... Uh, I think Pownall had about 60,000. He's put 18 in. He's probably got about 40 left. That's 10, 20. Is he pot committed here? I don't think he is. I think he can get away from it. He's got a thing that his ace 10 is losing to a, to a, to a bigger kicker or, or a big <coughs> pair. 18,000 in there. I, I don't think he's totally. Oh, he's gone all in. Oh. Well, panel's decided there's nothing for second, no, I guess, no. Michael. I suppose. I suppose. It's it, the it, first it, decent hand he's had, really, isn't it? it, it, it he'll, be, he'll be hoping to see, like, a, a, a pair it. lower than tens, basically. But uh, he's not going to imagine it is the absolute worst-case scenario. Yeah. He's in dire More straits here. Punches, Even his ten of diamonds is not really live to a flush because... Uh, Eddie London's got the ace of diamonds. I, I, I think it's more than six to one against. It's 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 whatever it is. It's uh, it's not something you want to be rolling around about. He's looking for spades. That's really what he's looking for. I mean, he could get the straight, yeah, but he's really looking for the spades. Here. Three spades on the flop would be lovely. Michael Pownall all in. Ooh. Oh, he's got a few more outs now. <laughs> he's got more than he had. He's actually got a chance here. Yep. <clears throat> Four jacks in the deck for Michael Pownall. Any jack, it's his only hope. It's a lifeline anyway. There's 120,000 in the pot. He could still get one of one of tens, but uh, realistically, it's the jacks he wants. Here's the turn. That's changed nothing. Nope. And the river, panel on the edge of destruction here. No, he's unfortunate. He's, uh, he's run into a monster, an absolute monster. He's made a move, he had to make a move with his ace-10. Uh, I thought he could have got away from it, but uh, he stuck all his chips in and... Uh, Never got going today. Come on, today. Come on, today. Okay, we have Eddie London, who is the chip leader once again. 282,000, what a commanding lead he has. Mickey Vernick in second with 199. Brett Dunson on 60, and Achilles Kalakis on 59,000.
pass. How aggressive would you be at this stage? Brett and Achilles is just, would you be looking for any ace or? I would just be patient, waiting for an ace, waiting for a small pair, and then hoping to get some action and just stick him in and hoping to get doubled up. You know, there's no prizes for second. You want to win this thing and you, you need chips to win this. Race. The hooks Ooh. have moved a seat. I think to Achilles could go all in, in here. All he's in. gone all in. Yeah, yeah, there was a raise he's from the jacks. Called. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in dire, dire <laughs> straits here. I thought he would. He's got a pair. He <coughs> probably thinks he's uh, winning against two overcards. At best, you only fit your, your evens with a pair of twos. Achilles just won the blinds with the jacks last hand. This time he's up against the jacks. And, uh, well, this is uh, this has got the end written all over it. Uh, I don't know why Michael, uh, why London is uh, pausing here. It's, it's a compulsory call. 112,000 in the pot, and Achilles, you can see by his face, he knows the story. It's a tough road to climb. There's mm. two deuces in the deck, but uh, are they on top? He needs a deuce, or he needs loads of spades or loads of hearts. At least they're alive. Oh, he's hit the deuce. Oh, the two of clubs. <laughs> Holy. He's hit the deuce. <laughs> he can sit back down. Now it's Eddie London. Well, he's not out of the woods yet for Queen. If a club comes down, then he's got a flush draw, or a queen comes down, he's got a straight draw. That has changed nothing. Two oh. jacks now. So another two. There's the only thing. <laughs> Achilles is saying put down another two. <laughs> he wants to make sure. Well, Achilles went from having two cards next to having about 40, well, and the deuces well, hold up. It's exactly what you said, Jesse. He wanted to double up. You know, it, you stick your chips in, and there's no prizes for fourth, third, or second. Uh, he's been very fortunate there, Achilles, but that can change your whole tournament, you know. Deuce or clubs normally considered a blank in poker speak, but in that case, it was the jewel of the crown for Achilles Kalakis. All in with the ducks, another one on the pond, and three of a kind beat one pair. Keep this tournament four way. You know, in hindsight, that was a great call from Kalakis going all in, because if a flop comes down, uh, then um, um, Eddie yep. could have easily got away because there was a king on the flop. So, you know, you could have thought that he was losing. So, And it's uh, it's it's the first blood that's been taken out of any London skin. He's had nothing. This is the first thing that's gone against him. We'll see how he reacts mm. to a bit of bad luck. Ace all in. And we've got an all in from Brett here. Ace 10. Oh. He's got the same, same hand here. I think he, he's going to call this. It's almost like one of those things, though, under the terms of uh, when things start going against you. Do you oh, you might be right. I think you are right. Well, he, he's got to think that uh, Brett is under pressure here to get some chips. And uh, an all-in move is all he's got. So he's got to think Ace-10 suit is pretty strong. But as it is, they, uh, they've got the same hand. I think it's a compulsory call here with Ace-10. Call. He has called. There's still two players to act. And uh, Brett Dunstan <laughs> probably thinks he's in a tremendous trouble here. He's very relieved. Yeah, very relieved. Well, not chopped up yet. Interestingly, the ace 10 suited is the favorite over the ace 10 offsuit, even though there are uh, two fluts for Dunst flushes for Dunstan to hit. Ace, but 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, uh, this is going to be a chop chop. Yeah. There you go, chop it up now. There's no possible flush there at all. Smile from Brett Dunstan. I kind of got to admire the way uh, Dunstan has regrouped himself. I mean, uh, he had a few chances to get out of the line, but he, after losing with the two eights there, he's, he's, he's shown that he's not prepared to, to lie down like a lamb. Yeah, he's uh, he's come all the way from Canada, and he's not come here to, uh, to be second best. <laughs> you know, he wants to win this. He took a bit of a beating with his eights against the uh, ace king, and uh, he's only got one move now, and that's to, to go all in. In fact, both of the internet qualifiers, Eddie London and Brett Dunstan, uh, they're both playing very good games, so, aren't they? I, mean, uh, I think the danger man's got to be Mickey, though, isn't it? You know, Mickey's just sat in waiting and waiting. As soon as Mick starts getting a few hit cards, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be dangerous to play against. Well, Mickey's been a different class, hasn't he? I yeah. mean, I don't think he's won a part with the best to end yet. But don't write off Achilles, you know. <laughs> he's a great player, and uh, he's doubled up. 
If he starts getting cards as well, I still think it could be heads up between him and Mick. Play the hand that beats you, thinks Eddie London. He lost to the deuces. And now we'll try and put the hurt Play on with 15, them. More, Total of 21,000. Bets are getting big. And uh, it's not the kind of raise that's looking for action. It was interesting to get his uh, past the pair of fours there. If he was a mm -hmm. lot shorter stacked, I think you would have probably seen an all in. But, you know, he's just got 109,000. He's got his chips back. He doesn't need to make any silly moves. Dunstan having a think. Is he considering that the re-raise all in? Oh, no, he's called. He's That's called. odd, isn't it? That's very strange, considering he hasn't many chips. Could it be stop and go? Does he think uh, that, that maybe London's on an ace, and if an ace doesn't come, he's going to be all in? If he hits the flop, you'll see an all in. That's got to be terrible news for... Uh, for Brett. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to stick him all in. All in. It's a good bet. I, I, I just didn't see the point in Brett calling his uh, raise with with uh, with his king nine. You know, he, he's got two moves really. He's either fold or, or stick them all in. And uh, what is he hoping to achieve? He's got to hit his king or his nine. And um, you know, five, seven times out of ten, you don't hit your flops, do you? So uh, now he really has only got one move, and that's all in. I did have that appearance, didn't I? I mean, it, it wasn't a six thousand raise. It was fifteen thousand was the raise, which. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, basically, Brett's down to 35,000 now, which is a lot different than 50, isn't it? I suppose the only thing is he, he was he was in the big blind, so he had chips in the pot, so he was trying to protect it, but uh, I would have let that one go. So this getting very icky right now for the short stack. The Canadian. And uh, Kalakis might think that looks like a huge hand. Cool. He's done a lot of calling tonight. Yeah, he has. I would like to see a raise there from Achilles. Pass. Uh, he's hoping to see a cheap flop. Not a bad hand with only four players, King Jack. Pass. Dunson can't even spare three grand. That's how dire the situation has become. And uh, London just thrilled nice. to be able to see the flop for free. Clock is sure getting in there and rambling and gambling. That's a lovely flop for Achilles. If he bets, he's not going to get any action. He's not to know that. Jack. He's got to make a bet here. Should take the pot here and now. 12,000. Pass. Raised to 16,000 times. That's it, he's found his raising boots now, Achilles. <coughs> Pass. Mm. Re-raise all in. Oh, he could be in a spot of bother here. Let's more. If he's found an ace, <laughs> he could be in a spot of bother. I don't think there's any, there's two words that are more terrifying to the poker player than let's gamble. <laughs> Anytime someone says it, he, 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 he means let's gamble, I've there. got the nuts. You gamble, <laughs> you gamble and I'll turn yeah. over my cards. <laughs> Uh, let's usually refers to you. <laughs> oh, ace four against ace nine. He's in. He is gambling. He's gambling. He's in dire straits. He needs a little bit of luck here. Wow, Kalakis is in very strong shape. Has Dunson just thrown the towel in? Oh, like I said, he, he saw an ace, and that was his only move to go all in. Unfortunately, he's come up against a bigger ace. He wants to see a few red, red cards here. Four, four a diamonds. That's well, actually opened up some split pot possibilities mm, for Dunstan. Another seven, and we've got a split pot here. Right now, the nine plays. Kalakis is ahead. Dunstan's all in. Seven. If we see two cards over nine, that... Oh, it still doesn't change anything. The nine still plays. Right, but any card over a ten now would make a split pot. Yep. There's a lot of cards here to save him. Basically, oh, what a shame. Oh, a sh the, the two pair is too late. It's too late. He, he's hit his two pair, but they're, they're, they don't count for anything. Counterfeited, and Brett Dunstan 
out of this tournament. He's he's shown some flair, shown some good moves. I think he'll look back and think the rush move he made with his pair of eights. He was unlucky there. All in with the ace four and a tricky board counterfeited on the end. Three pairs for Brett Dunson. Aces tens with a seven. Do not beat aces and tens with a nine. Kalakis takes out the Canadian. Brett, I mean, things were going great for you. Those eights, obviously, a very crucial hand. Yeah, I was, uh, I was hoping he would have laid down the ace-king, but it's a very strong hand, and uh, he called, and that was the turning point. He won. And that eight came on the river? Yeah. Didn't you th did, you, did you think, or did no, you know I, the I, flush was I there? I knew it was a spade, yeah. I, I knew it was. What can you do? That's poker. He had a good hand, I had a good hand, and uh, basically a coin flip, and he came out on top. There'll be more on this floor. Join us after the break here at the PartyPoker.net European Open. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net European Open action on the table. I'm Jesse May, joined by Michael Greco. We haven't seen London do too much raising before the flop with uh, with no hands. Uh, do you think it is, is he going to have to start doing that? Or uh, I, I guess if, <laughs> if he keeps getting big hands, he doesn't have to at all. Exactly. I suppose you'll see what he's really made of when he's uh, heads up, because it's a completely different game. Oh. That's if he gets the heads up. You never know. Big hands for Achilles. Raise. 15 more. 25 total. Quick call oh, from quick Mickey Wernick. Okay, well, he's not in such bad shape, Mick. He's got two live cards. There's pot 50,000. And do you think Achilles is pot committed here? Is he all in no matter what? Yeah, I think a bet. He's got to bet this now. Achilles has got to bet. He's the raiser pre flop. Check. He's got to put in Check. a bet. He's giving Mickey a free card. Giving him a free card. Oh, that's a lovely card for Achilles. He's got to make Check. the bet now. Oh, oh, he's trapped him. He certainly has. 25. Mm. All in. And Mickey Wernick has just realized the story. That was well played by Achilles. Uh, um, you know, he, 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 trapped, uh, he trapped Mickey into a bet, and uh, he's got a bit of dosh out of him. He can't call this now. Well, Wernick's drawn oh. dead. Uh, an extra 25,000 for Achilles based on the crafty check raise on the turn. And uh, that's actually kind of vintage Kalakis. <laughs> check, <laughs> check, 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 raise. That's right. <laughs> He played that very well. Played that very well. He could have taken the pot there and then by a bet, but uh, he's induced a bet from uh, from Mickey and uh, and uh, and raised him. So well played. And that has squared things a bit. Eddie London has half the chips, virtually, and there is not much between Mickey Werner and Achilles. No, you can see now that uh, Eddie London's a big chip leader, and, and Mickey's come back down towards Kalakis now. So this is still anyone's game, Jesse. Still anyone's game. That hand, uh, I mean, it's significant, uh, I would say, for the, for the one fact that it, it seems like the first mistake that Mickey Wernick has made tonight, although uh, oh. may have just been a bit unfortunate. And limping from Achilles now. Just limping in. Oh, we're definitely going to see fireworks now. I think we're going to see a bet from Mickey, a raise from Mickey, and a re-raise from Kalakis all in. That is 100% guaranteed. <laughs> I would say that, that seems completely set in stone, doesn't it? It's set in stone. Mickey will raise this, and Kalakis will go all in, and he'll get a call. Re-raised. There's absolutely... 35,000 more. No <laughs> doubt about call. this. There all you go. In. Call. Well, it's all come <laughs> down to this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, we're basically going to gonna be head up after this, no matter who wins. That was inevitable, wasn't it? Hmm? It's the classic hold a matchup, the Queens against the Ace King. And uh, it's almost a shame that uh, one of these two players is going to have to go, but that's the story, Morning Glory. Mickey Wernick has a few thousand more, I believe, than Kalakis, but basically uh, all the money in the center here. Oh, it's a great flop for Kalakis. There's only six cards in the whole pack that can help Mickey, and he needs that on the turn or the river. There's no diamonds for anybody either. Yeah, only an ace or queen. king right now. A queen! Oh, he asked for it. it. Got it. That's it. And it's that's all over. ended oh, nice. it. This hand over. Three queens. 
cannot be beat. Wow. Mm. And the diamond it's came on the end as well. Mm. And they'll just have a I countdown to see if Mickey Wernick is still in this tournament. I think he's got about 20,000 left, something like that. He's virtually all in the next hand anyway. What a bone crusher there. And, uh, I mean, they call it a cold deck, Michael. Uh, there's, there's just no way to get out of that. There's no way of getting it. You, you can script that. It's down. You can. Everybody back home will be watching this going, exactly what I said. That's exactly what's going to happen. Well, they might as well have printed a ticket to Hammerheadsville. Ace King versus the two queens. It's 50-50 until the queen comes, which in which case it was all over. Three queens beating the ace high. And uh, Wernick uh, may not be out, but he doesn't have a leg to stand on. More than Mickey Wernick. Was, uh, He's hoping to get a hand now. It's all, uh, it's all in or nothing for him at the moment. But not with those two cards. Oh. The tightest play we've seen from Mickey tonight. <laughs> But uh, it's, it is well warranted. Jeez, he's, he's got about 35,000 there. Yeah, well, one double up, you know. There's, there's, there's three guys in this tournament who would like to have that. Uh, those chips. King Jack for Eddie London. And he's uh, offering Achilles the chance at a free flop. Yeah, should have. Maybe putting a little raise there would have taken it there and then. King still leading. These two don't really want to get involved with each other, to be honest, do they? First player will take this down. Um, you know, when you know that um, you're you're seeing the end of, a, of the third player, you don't really want to get involved with the guy who's got as many chips as you have. Both of these are gearing for the head up, are they? Yeah, exactly. They're completely doing that. They're writing the death, the death, death certificate for Mickey, and uh, they're just waiting to get heads up. They don't want to uh, double him up, and uh, they want to get rid of him as soon as possible, so they can go heads up. Mickey has been short-stacked now, extremely short-stacked for four hands. He's still here, but it's his big blind again. And uh, so we saw him fold all in raise last time from there. Let's we'll see who picks on him this time. He needs a little bit of lady luck now, Mickey. He needs to hit those flops once he goes all in. Oh. Well, Achilles has been playing very tight from this position. Cool. Cool. Check. Mickey, happy to have the free flop. Especially with those two cards. Yeah. Check. Also, he could let me have this. Mickey <laughs> <laughs> says, you could have given it up. Have you no pity? <laughs> Queen high leading. Ooh, what a horrible flop for Mickey there. Check. <clears throat> Four hearts for Achilles. Flush through. Check. 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 Oh. And that is the hard flush. Could he check again? Yep. Why not? Because if he bets and he's not going to get anything out of Mickey, is he? Might as well just check. Ten. Ten thousand. Anyway. <laughs> 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 he did his. Achilles did his best to have a pained expression on. He hit the flush on the river. It was good the whole way. Uh, Warnick down now to about. It uh, looks about like about twenty nine thousand behind and five thousand in. So uh, <laughs> maybe oh maybe twenty five. He's got about thirty thousand there. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Obviously he's running out of time, but um, it's in the lap of the poker gods now. Whether he gets the cards. There's nothing else he can do. Okay. Yep. He's got to raise it here. Oh, it's just uh, flat cold. That's good play from Achilles, actually. He's, um, this is the exact same way it went with the Queens against the Ace yep. King. He slow played it well, and he's going to call and maybe put in a raise here. Or does he really want to get involved? What is Eddie London thinking? Well, he's thinking there's two of us to try and get rid of one player. Obviously, when your head's up, it's a lot more difficult because it's 50-50. But it's uh, when there's two of you against one, 
It's very, it'd be very odd, won't it, if if the ten six x ends up taking on the king deuce instead of the two sevens? I call it exceedingly I odd. I can't. I can't see Achilles folding this. Surely he's got to call the all in. <laughs> Is it possible that Eddie London misread his hand? I think Achilles has deduced that London is on a massive hand. And he's thinking, OK, I'll leave you to it. I'm thinking he may have two tens. <laughs> yeah. Mean, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> Surely he doesn't think he's got two tens. I think London's thinking, right, let's both of us try and go up against him because we've got more chance. And now he's thinking that. Achilles is thinking, all right, you've just flat called his all in. I, I, you must have a big hand. I, I, I think London thinks he has two tens. I don't know. I don't. It's... it's, it's Okay, he's, uh, you've got to call this, surely. It's, I mean, 20,000 is a pretty yeah. big big bet at this stage, though, isn't it? Well, 20,000, how much is in there? There's there's uh, 60,000 in there. He's getting three to one his money for a pair of sevens. Stick it in. Stick it in, Achilles. Come on. Cool. Good boy. He has called. And Mickey Wernick getting a chance to triple up here. Although uh, there is a bigger chance for him to get knocked out. Mickey Wernick all in. They'll be betting on yep. the side between London and Kalakis. And this, this is... Um, now it's time to check it down. This is this is very interesting. There's 90,000 in the pot, which uh, makes a king the operative card for Mickey Wernick. It's a great flop for Achilles. Check. Check it down. It's got to check it down check. now. You got a feeling about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wernick still looking for the king. Yep. Right now, Achilles Kalakis is on the verge of taking this pot. Check. A seven would be a real bingo Please. card on the river. It would make a full house for Kalakis. It would. A straight for London. And look at that! Oh, no! It's been counterfeited! Oh, no. <laughs> Mickey Wernick has got out the back oh, door! Oh, no way! Fantastic! That is He's... absolutely incredible. <laughs> he can't oh, believe shit. it! <laughs> Holy <That> cabodly! Is... <laughs> no, bad language on this program. Holy <laughs> cabodly! Mickey Wernick has been playing poker. <laughs> Since Queen Elizabeth Holy used goodness. face powder, but I'll bet he's never seen that before. The King High wins the pot. My name's Mickey Wernick. I'm 61 years old. I've been playing poker 40 years. He used to be Mickey the Kid from when I first went out to Vegas in the early 80s. Now it's a, it seems a bit silly. Mickey the Kid, I'm the oldest kid in England, I should think. We're still three-handed here. Eddie London is our chip leader still with 252,000. Achilles is not far behind with 218,000. And Mickey Vernick is not out of this at all. He's won the most hands, but yet he's only got 130,000. Mickey is basically not far from the position he was before he matched up with Kalakas, Queens against Kings. <coughs> he's, he's, he's battled his way back yes. in it. Yes. Achilles has been... Uh, Achilles has basically given all the chips up, and uh, Eddie London is just treading water. Cool. Cool. That's odd. That'll have to send alarm bells ringing. No worries. <coughs> what was that about? He just wants to see a flop. He wants to see if he can outplay his opponent on the flop. He's a great player, Mickey. He can do that. Thousand in there, and a clean miss for both players. Check. A ten would be very interesting because that would give London the straight, Check. and Vernick would have the Check. up and down straight draw. Yeah. That's a very good card for London. Now the six would make him a straight as well. Yeah. It's basically up and down. Two chances of a straight here. Yep, it's going to call him. And Mickey's got to be a little bit suspicious here. He's thinking, well, if he's called my big bet, he must have something. That's another 25. Raise 25,000 more, 50 total. That's a, great, that's a great raise. That's a great raise. That's a really good raise. I think he'll take the pot here and now. This pot's big. Mickey hasn't got anything. He, he, he can't call a re-raise with <laughs> King High. nothing at all. Hey, but he's going to make it look like he has got something <laughs> and that he's making a great fold. But at the moment, little does he know he's winning. Pass. He's passed. Wernick's pass. been outplayed there by Eddie London. Wow. Who must have had the heart in his mouth. But uh, that was really significant. 
That was great play. I, I'm, that really surprised me, actually. He, he, he has got those gears he can change. And uh, well done, Eddie. Well done. He just looks disinterested, doesn't he? He just looks a little bit fed up. He's thinking, Christ, I, I, you know, I haven't had a good hand for a long time. So did I remember to put gas in the helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> He's come here to win. He doesn't want to come second. He's or third. He, he wants to win this, so... If he goes out, he goes out. He's going to put up a fight. Cool. Cool. Well, last time Mickey Warnick did this, it was a complete disaster. Yeah. He got caught bluffing by Eddie London. And uh, he's coming in again. Well, they're both not in such bad shape against each other. Oh, cool. it's a lovely flop for Eddie London. Two pair. He wouldn't mind having Check. Queen 8 right now. He might be willing to check it. Twenty thousand. Oh, that's it. Oh. That's Raised the end. That is the end. He's made a, a good move at the wrong time, Raised unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you can't call this Mick, can you? I mean, was this a situation, Michael, of, of Mickey assuming that uh, Eddie London couldn't have the ace because uh, he would have raised it for the flop? Yeah, he's. Uh, Yep. He's trying nice. to. He's, he's made a move, Mickey. He's made a, a check raise, and uh, it, it's 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 the wrong time. It's a good move, but uh, it's not paid off. That's gotta hurt him, Jesse. Look at this pie chart. Well, it's it's predominantly yellow, isn't it? You know, with a little bit of green and a little bit of red. It's um, it's looking ominous, isn't it, for one of the other two? Uh, but if they double up against each other, then they've got 150,000, and uh, they won't be down and out. All going according to plan right now. But uh, Warnick picking him off the felt onto the glass. And uh, in, in, in some ways, you could make an argument for, for Mickey Warnick going well in without looking at the two cards. I think that could happen quite soon. Uh, oh, here's, here's an all in, yeah. Raised all in. Oh. When you talk about the nicotine, Warnick will be happy to get uh, action no matter what the players have, as long as they don't have kings or aces. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's gone all in. Pair of sevens. Well, it's the same. We had the ace king against the queens before. It's the exact same matchup. Yeah. The exact same matchup. And uh, as Mickey says, uh, it might be my turn. He says to Achilles, "You won with a pocket pair last time." It is uh, Mickey Warnick all in and needing to catch a pair to stay in this heat. This pot no less important for Achilles Kalakis who uh, says, well, the blood is pumping. Why do I have to sit down? He's a seven from heaven. Oh, he's hit his ace and his king. It's not looking good for Achilles now. He needs that seven from heaven. Yeah, there's only two bullets in the gun. And uh, as you say, two sevens in the deck. All's fair in love and war. And uh, each of these players now, they've... They've played this 50-50 proposition twice and each one at once. Although uh, this time even more significant because they're both playing for their life. Yeah, he's, uh, he's down, but he's not out, Achilles. Kalak is basically in the same position that uh, Mickey Wernick was uh, the last time these guys uh, cross swords. Exactly. So, uh, uh, you know, never lose heart. He's easily declared his stance. Achilles has verbally declared all in on the blind. It's a, it's a, a, a it's not usually, this is not a, not a move usually seen in tournament hold'em, but um, Achilles, bringing it out for the first time this evening. Just pack it for the beginning. He, lo he loves this move. <laughs> I've seen Achilles do this move before. He loves this move. He, he, he He's does. just like, you know what? I'm short stacked. Yeah. I'm just going to go all in now. You know, it's it's in the lap of the gods. The, the interesting thing is that he's done it from the, he's done it from the small blind, which is an even. It's it's a very interesting place to do it from, <laughs> especially from Eddie London's perspective. Go blind, but I'm not going to. I'm not going up to yet.
and it's all in on the blind for 52,000 total. Blind. Oh, oh, nice. I'm all in. <laughs> all in. He's now run into a big end. Well, he's in not such bad <laughs> shape. He's got two live cards, Achilles. <laughs> Sixty forty, maybe some of that. And, uh, this one of the reasons you don't see about the all-in blind move in the poker books. <laughs> Although if uh, if the ten four pops, we may see it more often. It's a it's Kalakis all in here, leading a ten or a four. Oh oh, it's trouble. It's it's yeah, virtually it's all over, isn't it? It's virtually all over. He needs a jack and a king to make a straight. No, oh, it's all over. That's it. Achilles Kalakis, he hung around for a long time, threatened, but in, in the end, Michael, he, he never seemed to get over that hump. The last hand, Kalakis all in, in the dark, and Mickey Wernick but to call with the ace king. Once the ace popped on the flop, it was Curtinsville for small town. Well, Achilles, uh, you're becoming a bit famous in the poker world for your ability to play the short stack. I mean, uh, ha you, you just never give up. Is that is that uh, your philosophy? No matter how how little chips you have, you can come back. Yeah, I think when you're down to three-handed as well, and you've got uh, a reasonable uh, reasonable hole cards, I think you've just got to go all in, especially blind. <laughs> the blind all in. That's that's the Achilles clock. <laughs> T for two. Forty years of poker experience. He's played against Doyle Brunson, Chip Reese, and all the greats, and now it's an internet qualifier taking down the master. Well, it's all come down to this, and if Eddie London ever wanted to make a statement to the poker world, taking down a giant such as Mickey Wernick is a good place to start. Uh, how do you handicap this, uh, Michael Greco? Well, he's in great position, isn't he, Eddie? But I tell you what, Mickey can do a hell of a lot of damage. One double through, and they're virtually even in chips. So I wouldn't write off uh, Mickey yet. Well, looking at these head-to-head -head statistics, uh, I guess, Eddie, the most important thing is the he's got over two to one chip advantage. But, uh, a lot of the other things, the statistics nearly the same. But uh, Mickey has a fantastic head-up record, Michael. Uh, he's played in the World Heads-Up Championship the last two years. Yeah, I think even if... Uh, I know Eddie's got most chips, but uh, I think you're right. I think Mickey's my favorite to win this. Cards out now, and the blinds have been raised here to 10 and 20,000. Cool. And uh, about 30,000 in the pot before the players have seen their cards. I'm going to get used to it here. This is where your game really has to change, and I think uh, this is where I fancy Mickey. I think heads up, you've just got to be. I, I, I'll just raise virtually every pot pre flop. Just get aggressive and just try and steal these blinds. Eddie London has just called, and Mickey Warnick has out flopped Eddie. Although three diamonds on there, there's a flush draw out there for London. And he's betting into it as well. I admire his uh, aggressiveness. 25,000. 25, obviously a, it, it well. was a very key pot there and uh, London taking the five high to glory did uh, did Mickey Warnick think it was possible that Eddie could have had an ace there and slow played it quite possibly yeah um, that's a great bet for Mickey he's putting a big bet and he's won it well done well done so London uh, if he's picked a time to step it up a gear, uh, now is the right time. It's By the time uh, Mickey Warnick figures out that London is doing a lot of bluffing, it may be all over. Yep. Of course, Warnick may be capable of the, the old bluff move himself, as we've seen. It's a big hand. I think when you're heads up, you don't really oh. want to become a call station. I think you want to right. attack and... Um, Surprised Mickey didn't uh, raise with his king ten then on the button. Here is the flop. King high good. And uh check. Check. If Eddie check. wants to machine gun things. Oh, Warnick has check check to five check, or an eight. Check, yeah. yeah. That's 
a nice card for Mickey. There is 40,000 out there to be won. 20,000. Now, does Mickey... Yeah, it's just cold. flat cold. Well, uh, uh, Eddie London's drawing dead. Maybe Mickey's worried about the jack, but uh, he is, I think that worry's probably gone now. Warnick's giving Eddie London a chance to hang himself. He's counting the chips out. Is this bluff going to get called or get through? It's going to get called. Mickey might even put himself all in. 40,000. That's a big bet. That's a big bet, but Mickey's going to call this all day long, every day of the week. I cannot see Mickey putting this down. Oh, this is the pot of the tournament for Mickey Wernick. Cannot see Mickey putting this down. Stick them all in, Mick. Actually, there's no point putting them all in. Might as well just call it. Cool. He has called. Good call. And the eight high playing the board, Wernick. And, uh, I mean, interestingly enough, Michael Greco, I mean, it was... Mickey Wernick probably could have ended that pot before the flop, on the flop, or on the turn. But playing it that way got him 60,000. He did. This particular time he didn't raise, and uh, which I thought was quite odd. But in the end, it got him an extra 60,000. And here, a rare flop. Wow, what a flop for Eddie. When it's going your way, it's going your way. I <laughs> guess he can afford to check here. Definitely. A 10 would likely end this. Yeah. Mickey Warnick might stick his chips in anyway. He might do. I think another, check. another check here from Eddie would uh, be the order of the day. I mean, there is a flush draw there, but... Another check there would uh, it would sm it would smell of Johnny Chan, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, taking the part there and there. Oh. <laughs> that was a handy wanted to show. <laughs> Wasted, three six straight on the floor. Well, you 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 would have to imagine that this is automatic all in for Mickey. I think. Well, yeah, definitely. It's got to stick him in now. Come on. A call. Oh, Called. Called. London all might in. have him. He oh, does. Oh, look at that. He knew it. knew there was going to be an all in and a call. Oh, God. You Had to happen. Oh, Unfortunately for Mickey, he's mine. got the worst time. <laughs> the train came too late. Oh. It sailed. A Lots six. Diamonds. Or diamonds. The only thing for Mickey Wernick. 65% against him. There is some split pots out there. Not a tremendous amount. No. Nope. Oh, he's hit the six. He certainly has. <laughs> he's hit the six. And that's huge. Nope. That's put London on the back foot. There's only three Can jacks left in the deck. He needs a jack or a running king ace. And now a queen. Interesting card. It's four diamonds for Warnick, but a queen or jack that's not a diamond. London can see that'll make him the winner. Nope. Sixes and fours hold up. And uh, a little sweat on Mickey Warnick's brow. That, uh, that's the second time he's come off the floor. Incredible, isn't it? Well, uh, I mean, never would a person be thrilled to be three to one down in chips, but uh, Warnick can feel fortunate. This is the most chips he's had for a while. You never say never. But with the blinds at 15 and 30,000 and Mickey Warnick in the big blind. I'm all in. All in. Would be a word. He's got a call, hasn't he? Any two cards, Mick? That's not bad. No, not bad. Like, he's, he'll be nearly 50-50, won't he? Yeah, he's losing, so but uh, he's got two live cards. So, Mickey Warnick, this pot crucial. 50-50. He's gotten out of some spots before. 
Warnick needs to win to stay in this heat and stay in this tournament. Eddie, Eddie London looking to seal. He just wants a king. Just put a king down for me, please. Put a king. Well, well good luck, Eddie. Maybe a backdoor flush for Mickey. A 7 8 and two running spades is only hope. Any 7, any 8. Of course, a 9 and a 10 wouldn't help him because that would give Mickey, uh, Eddie, a bigger straight. Any 7, any 8 now for Mickey. Otherwise, this it's game is over. Yep. Well, the king plays. Well it's all over. Well Eddie well Lundy from St. Yeah. Andrew, Thank Scotland, you. is going yes, through. He's taken well. down a giant of the game, Mickey Warnick, and looking at that last hand. All in, virtually by the force of nature. And the king high held up all the way. Two pairs with the king, beating two pairs with the queen. Well, some great poker, I think you'll agree. Eddie Lundy, congratulations. You, you took down some giants of the game today. Yeah, thanks, Jesse. It's a great experience, and uh, even if I just lasted a couple of players, I would have been happy when I sat down and saw Tony Bloom on one side and Achilles on the other side. I mean, I didn't fancy my chances. So, yeah, I'm I'm thrilled with myself to to get through that heat. Yeah. Never really kicked off for you, Mick, did it? You you no. were stealing the blinds in the beginning. You were yeah. raising with rubbish, and then you were getting people off hands brilliantly yeah. with Queen Four trash yeah. hands, and then it just. Died down from then on, didn't it? And at the finish, when the guy said he got like a three to one chip, I could never really move because I know he's going to come with a half a hand, you know. So then yeah. it was trying to wait. And I got lucky with the ace, six and double. I thought maybe another quick double, and then we've got a game on. Yeah. But in all fairness, he never took the pressure off of me, you know. He played well, didn't he? he? Played I mean, great. He your, played your experience great. heads yeah. up is, is yeah. phenomenal, but yeah. yet to play against someone who's only been playing a year. Yeah, yeah. You're you're take a lot of Eddie in the future. He played very well. Very never well. never give me an inch, you know. So. Well, some great poker between great players. Eddie London going forward to the semifinal stages of this PartyPoker.net European Open. Join us next week when, among others, we're going to be seeing Dave El Blondie Colcloth and Paul Action Jack Jackson.